hello guys so here and you're welcome to this tutorial in this video we are looking at the equipment register so this is a very specialized tool for building a database of workplace equipment to ensure that you have absolute control of the equipment now keeping an equipment register is a starting point if you want to develop a maintenance program for your equipment it is always important that you are aware of all the equipment at the workplace and gather a lot of information about them so without wasting time let's get straight into the feature so this is the approved list and this is where you, f you can actually list all your equipment you know the various categories so this is just a random list random list of equipment random list of categories you know list of ma um, frequency for maintenance all right in terms of plant preventive maintenance and then equipment condition good or bad and remarks all right so the approved list will actually be used over here as a drop down list all right so over here you take your time to actually build a database of equipment so you need to provide a unique identification for your workplace equipment and usually you'd want to label your equipment you know with this equipment id so here you select from the drop down list and that is the equipment type again you have the equipment category select from the drop down list Equipment to ideally have a serial number, the manufacturer, the contact details of the manufacturer, the date the equipment was purchased, the date it was put into service, location of the equipment, physical condition of the equipment. All right, from the drop down list, again, we have the maintenance service provider, the contact person, contact number, and the frequency for maintenance. So within this section, you have ability to do a bit of, you know, tracking of the maintenance status of the equipment by providing the last date of maintenance and based on the frequency for maintenance it's going to set the next date for maintenance and there's going to be a countdown you know to the next date of maintenance now based on the days due overdue it's going to update this section so as you can see all these ones are in a future date so they are they are showing us in date and this one has has actually passed so is there as overdue so at a glance we can tell the maintenance status of all our equipment one is overdue and is actually supposed to be scheduled for maintenance all right so remarks you can say in good service in good service and this is totally out of service so the ones that are overdue you want to remove them from service and then plan and maintenance activities for them all right so over here you would actually can see a graph of maintenance status of all your equipment how many are in date how many are overdue and we can also look at individual equipment that are overdue or in date so all we need to do is just right click on this to show the third list and then we drag this all the way down so there we have it list of equipment in date and the one that's overdue and then the maintenance due days all right so we can tell that all these ones are still positive which means maintenance are not yet due all right and over here maintenance is due so that's just about it you keep an equipment register to have an overview of workplace equipment gather as much information as possible about your workplace equipment and then be able to track maintenance program which is merely a planned preventive maintenance because you need to schedule it based on the frequency of maintenance all right and at a glance you can actually see you know, the status of maintenance and then the um, due days the due days for maintenance so that's just about it so in case you're interested in this template, just visit us on www.shexel.com and you can actually click to download right there. So thanks all for your attention and then bye for now.